This is just a update. Um, I am depressed, but I'm skinny and I'm very pretty. So we're good. I think it's why a lot of people didn't understand why I got divorced because my ex-husband is genuinely a good person. Right. And they were like, why did you leave? And I was like, because I continually asked for things that never got changed, had really open communication with him about what was making me unhappy. And it never changed. Trying and I was help. done perpetuating the cycle. I just didn't want to keep putting myself in that position to be let down every single time. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to set that boundary. It's okay to walk away. Right. And like, we have a much better friendship than we ever did a relationship. That's awesome. Yeah, we are very similar. That way. It's not okay. Did those things exist when you are getting married? So you decided you can live with those things, but few years down the line after having kids and you've been able to assess that you might get a payout after being divorced and you decide oh no i think it's better i walk away since i've already achieved what i needed to find. my story is not unique i left a marriage after 15 years i had three kids with the man i had built a life with him and i really wanted it to work deciding when it was time to leave deciding that I had tried hard enough, deciding that yes, it was worth to take the risk of the unknown for leaving the known, which I had become very accustomed to over the last 15 years. And even though I was miserable, there was some security to it. There was a little bit of at least I was comfortable in knowing what to expect. As the years would roll by and every birthday I got the same card that said next year will be better, I somewhere deep inside thought to myself, there's no way. And the only way that my life is gonna change is if I leave but I had three kids and I was also thinking, wait, if, if my happiness means that I'm taking away the kids happiness and all of the guilt that came into play of, am I being so selfish that I want to leave this? And is it bad enough? But here's the kicker. The kicker is, is that if you are in a place where you are absolutely miserable, you're being treated horribly or whatever your circumstances are, but you know, in your heart that the only way to change your life is to leave. Let me tell you that it is, you will carry guilt with you, that it will be extremely difficult. And when you are looking for people who you're like, okay, well, she left and look how her life turned out. And you're looking for examples and your mind is researching for the evidence that you're going to be okay. I'm going to tell you that no matter what it is, that's the unknown that's on the other side. If you are in a situation right now where years are passing by and you are still miserable in a relationship and you're not being taken care of and you're not being seen and you're not being heard and you're just being alone in a marriage, the unknown is terrifying, but there's nothing more terrifying than looking back and seeing all the years that you wasted living in fear. Uh, the biggest problem I've seen is that people who are married, they are looking at those people that are divorced. How has their life changed? How are they happy? And so you can't be married and be thinking like, oh, when you get out of the marriage, you're going to be happy because those people that have gotten out of uh, marriage, they are happy. Guess what? It's life. Sometimes you'll be happy. Sometimes you're going to be sad. That's the way life is. Most of the times, yes, you're going to be happy. There will be few instances, twice, three times, four times in a year that you're going to be sad. It happens even when you're married or oh, you're single. It's going to happen. So now, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get married, and few years down the line, start looking at people that have gotten divorced, how has their life tremendously changed? You know, you're not gonna last longer in a marriage like that. And maybe it's some kind of a disease. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My husband and I took a separation four and a half months ago now. I have changed almost everything in my life since then. I'm sure you guys can tell in my content in general. I am just on a high vibe. I have found true happiness in myself. I just raised the bar on how I expect other people to treat me, who's in my life, everything around me. And with that being said, since we have started to try and work things out, my husband surprised me and he's taking me on a secret vacation for the next two days. I was supposed to go to VidCon, but I just canceled the whole thing. I only went today. I'm like so
so many of you guys, just your stories about how you separated with someone you're with, even got divorced. You guys got divorced for years and then got together, back together. It's just been really inspiring. And I think I needed a change in who I was and the things that I wanted in my life. And I think I'm finally at a place where, I don't know, I think, I think this might work, but I'm not, I'm just not putting any labels on anything. I literally just got divorced. <laughs> I'm done. I don't ever have to see him again. That was so hard. That was so painful. <sighs> I couldn't look at him. I couldn't say hi. I couldn't say bye. I just walked away. I'm just surprised why she's sad and sobbing that she couldn't say hi to him. Like, come on, you're the one that wanted this. You wanted it to end. You wanted to leave. You wanted to be liberated. You wanted to be happy. But why are you crying now? You're free. <laughs> Back in the streets when the streets keep calling. The person that I loved the most in this entire world. The person I love most uh. in this entire world, you know? That was it. That's how the story ends. I loved him with everything that I was. And now it's done. I kept it together so that I got divorced alone. I did it myself. I did all the work. I did all the research. Oh, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did all the research, I did all the work, I did all the paperwork. <sighs> he was there um, when I arrived, like he was there early, so I had to like walk up to him. He said hi and just in the like most shameful tone. I was shaking for a while and then eventually like Calm down. And I calmed down because he was the person that I felt safest with. I don't know, my brain. I guess that was like a coping mechanism. <laughs> I don't know. But I stopped shaking and then um, we signed all the paperwork and went in. And it was relatively fast. I mean, there were a few things that we were missing, like name and address for so we filled that out together we like stepped aside and filled it out together and then we went back to the window and gave them all the documents that are there's name and i just i stayed strong i stayed strong the entire time So guys, ask us to why she divorced the husband. So she spent probably six months of researching how people who are divorced, how they cope up with divorces. Maybe how to survive financially. She had to make sure that she can survive on her own. And she had to also maybe, uh, I don't know, come up with certain uh, things that would keep her distracted and even ask her about why she got divorced, or why she fought for divorce, no reason at all. No reason at all. She just wanted to get out of the marriage. 